Attacker oh, no. opened fire on protesters, 17 dead. An opened fire in Vesmet city center during a protest march organized by the Communist Party of Sortland against the murder. Attacker used a military-grade machine gun, dated 1929, which is suspected to be part of the inventory of the Swordish Armed Forces. Attacker killed himself right after shooting 25 people. Wow. He took out a weapon from the newsstand at the square, ba uh, brandished it, and yelled, Come, I will give you freedom, one witness said. The highly charged word freedom was previously associated with bloody separatists, but has been used widely during the previous month of protest against the murder of Bernard. Minister of Interior Graf said that he that she had spoken to the chief of Vesert police and asked him to, to take strict action. The government will not tolerate any such incident and the, the perpetrators will not be spared. Gelsort FC Anrika FC Derby postponed due to protests. Yeah. They have some sort of league going, so. Fight against injustice. Mayor Lester has also made a statement. Um, is it, it is a tragic day of Swordland where the president himself refused to act in the face of communism. It is said that interaction, that inaction breeds uh, doubt and fear. Thus, I fear that the spread of communism has sown deeper inside the heart of the nation than we thought. However, I and the people of Andrika will never stop fighting for the soul of our great country. And we have the radical with undemocratic elections of Sortland. Yeah, this electoral threshold of 10%, this means any political parties that are under 10% of vote can't even enter the assembly. This is the very reason why the United Sortland Party holds 52% of the seats in the assembly today. Also the reason why the largest ethnic minority of Sortland has been non-existent in Swedish politics. The last elections have shown that pro British WP me had an enormous voter base of just above 9%, but still failed to meet the 10% threshold. Could it enter politics? Similarly, uh, the CPS won around 8%, the Communist Party uh, was eliminated. So this means that millions of voters are not represented in our current government. Moreover, this was benefited the USP the most and gave him the lawmaking power. Well, that's actually true. Maybe we should let that go at some point. I mean, if they only get 10% or 20%, that that's fine, right? We, we, maybe maybe they can work together with us. That's true. Maybe that will calm I down know. the people. Isn't that how it is in real life, though? Like, there's a... Uh, it's like no, 10%. but we can also not shoot them down. That is true. That is very true. But we can do nothing. We can push the police and shoot them down. Or we can give them a, a voice. I think. Maybe, if you reform the constitution. Uh, what is this? A presidential visit to Narble. I was traveling to the snow-covered city of Narble, in the Nargis region, for the Rural Development Forum organized by the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education. The mountainous city of Narble had gritty tones to it. Mostly regarded as one of the poorest cities of Sort in Sortland, its, pe its people were hardly and wary. Even after the discovery of natural resources in the area, years of neglect by the central government were apparent on the buildings and the general infrastructure. Natural resources, namely gas and oil, were now under control of Gazon. Natural gas. Initially, several investors from United Container had started the company as a joint venture, Ooh. which elevated the corporation to a place of power. My task in this, in this forum was mainly symbolic. Take smiles and handshakes with oil barons, meeting with local politicians, but most importantly of all, to make sure that Narble does not feel like it was forgotten by the government. Construction process happened. The scenery so far, however, was a reflection of Marble's neglect. Main roads to the city were not maintained well. There were many bumps and empty discolored spots on the asphalt. Navigating and swerving avoid the inconveniences our motorcade finally started nearing the city. As if my discovered from the bumpy ride was apparent to him, Serge rolled down the partition window. We will be arriving at the Hotel West in a few minutes, sir. One, thank you for letting me know. Two, can't say it's been a comfortable ride, no. Thank you for letting me know. 
Any time, it is my duty. After a moment, Serge started to smile under his moustache. What did smile for? Sir, I just want to say it has been great these last two months. As you know, my wife, my wife Susan recently gave birth to our son, sir, and now my daughter just started at a very good high school in Horsord. That's very sad because life is about to become a lot busier. Ooh, that's great news. I'm happy for you. I appreciate it, sir. Truly, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to afford a good private school if she scored less in the entrance exams. But I shouldn't have made my insecurity get to me. Erica outsmarts me all the time. I'm very proud to have a daughter like her. I also hope that Diana will grow to be like her mother someday. Or two. So that means she must have taken the smarts after her mother. I do not value insecurity in my employees. Now I'm the one. I'm sure she, she will, sir. After all, she's the daughter of a lion and a... My daughter looks up to the First Lady for inspiration, and it's not just limited to my daughter, sir. She's an inspiration for almost all women in the country. But at the same time, it must be hard for the First Lady as well. All this attention, adjusting to this new high-profile life, and a husband that has great responsibility. That's none of your business. Two, let's not talk about my family. Three, you're right, it's hard for her. Or it's hard for both of us. It's hard for both of us. It must be, sir. We sometimes forget the important people in life between all the responsibility and rush. You know, those we care for. Spare me your lectures. Do I agree? Yes, Serge, I get it. I agree. Serge continued after a moment of silence. Have I told you, sir? We named my son George. The doctor said he is very healthy, and thankfully so is my wife. Why did you want another, why did you want another child? Two, that's good, I hope the hospital had a good service. Wait, tell me more about Susan. What kind of person is she? Four, very good, I must attend to my documents for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, that's cool. I just look too. Hmm. Normally... We would have been treated in one of the suburban hospitals. But thanks to the special coverage of the presidential staff, we transferred to the Emerald State Hospital. Need to increase the quality of the services for all. Yeah. That sounds like a tough issue to solve. Besides. I have I already started thinking about their university education, especially Erica. I want to send her to a good private school, but with the current state of the economy, it's going to be hard for us. <laughs> Whoa. You know what? I can pay for the education of your children. I'm not going to do that. We can't do that with our personal wealth. So we will fix the economy one way or another. Or three, it's hard for everyone. I'm going to do two, Maybe. because that is the job, yeah. that is what we're trying to do. If anyone can, that's mm -hmm. you, Mr. President. The car had a major pothole and bump, and a bump which lifted us up in our seats for a second. Instead of talking, can't you drive more carefully? Dude, this <laughs> is unacceptable, we need to invest in infrastructure here. Three, are you fine? Are you fine? Yes, sir. I, I hope the car is fine, too. The motorcade began approaching the hotel. The Hotel West was supposedly the best hotel in Narble. The large, 25-story main building was undoubtedly one of the taller and more expensive buildings in the city. It towered over the nearby slums and had been a target for protests when it was first built. A crowd was gathering in front of the hotel with the welcoming committee at its center. As we approached the red carpet, entrance, I could see the mayor of Narble and his top aides. George got out of the car and opened the door. He bowed his head respectfully and gestured towards the entrance. See you later, Serge. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Likewise. As soon as I left the vehicle, the fresh air of Narble filled my lungs. 
Almost immediately, everyone present in the crowd flocked over to me with an excessive display of courtesy. Smiles and handshakes while I donned the mask of a politician. Was that I was very used to. Oh, and that's it? Yeah. Well, there's probably going to be more dialogue. Ooh, the highway is halfway through. Uh, news. Protests appear calmer. As protests continue nationwide, tensions eases in some cities. Still, several major cities, including Deir and Lekhaven, did some scattered reports of violence on Monday night. Tens of thousands in Deir, Circus hometown walked in a memorial march through police moved in the thinning crowd as the evening settled, making arrests. Authorities said the rotators began throwing rocks and ignored orders to disperse. Protests in Oldsworth and in most other major cities appeared calmer. Here were clashes between civilians and police. Is it finally going to get better? There's a lot of people arrested. 9,800. <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot. Shocking. Misogynist rally. What is that word? It means like a uh, sexist man. Oh. Like misogynist means like. Misogynist. Like. Like uh, you know, like that guy. Remember that went to your office and like looked at your secretary. Oh yeah. That would be like misogynist. Every day we are appalled by how deep the roots of misogynists, misogy, mis misogyny, misogyny yeah, goes misogyny. in our country. We are appalled mm -hmm. again when yesterday during a protest by the Swedish League of Women counterprotesters showed up to disrupt the peaceful rally. And we have sole needs to answer for his crimes. All about Saul's fault. What does he have to do with any of this? I'm not sure. But it's crimes against humanity. We also oh. remember the Islam incident. Yeah, it was a protest. Of the Buddhist movement. And that is why we cannot, we cannot use our forces against these people. Because then they will bring these connections with Saul again. And we are back to where we were. Yeah. 20 years ago. That's why we cannot do that. We have to let it run its cause almost. Really. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. We also remember the ISM incident and the wounds that have been inflicted. Okay. And Labour Union Rights March. Poor condition of worker, worker rights. Dozens of Taurus workers, that's the other company that could do the highway. We're in the midst of the crowd. One worker was say, heard saying, I know the law gives us nothing on paper. Is this the reality we choose to accept? Others pointed out that the country is relying on the workers to stop the recession. It doesn't give them anything back. Look at how great the rights are. Minimum wage, overtime pay and safe working regulations. The time for real workers reform is now. One voice demanded with frustration. And we had the opportunity to interview some open-minded managers. They, they relayed that the companies have little to no oversight. It's hard to disagree that time for labor reform is long due. Albin Clevin from the, the reformist wing of the USP the potential, has seen the potential and announced that work had begun to explore what we can be achieved. Will they listen to the demands? Time will tell. Alright. And The Economist is saying Education, privatization proven successful. Hmm. So they're anti-state schools. Yeah. Yeah. Goes on to two major points. One of privatization efforts led by Prime Minister Alvarez. That led to most schools in wealthier neighborhoods. To be, to be privatized. It lifted the significant budget burden of the state because the wealthy paid for a great education for the kids and was still taxed reasonably in order to divert funds to state schools elsewhere. Yeah, we made money. Temple, how does it change to repetition? Back to that. Okay. Alright, what do we have here? We have something in Antol. The prisoners riot in prison. 
A prison riot started in Ward C of the Antel Rock Prison. The most secure maximum security prison in Swartland. Which was eventually suppressed. Ward C is generally used for keeping political prisoners. And the riot started when a warden was killed by a bloodish politi political prisoner. 4,021 prisoners died. 134 were injured. Oh god. You only had one successful escape attempt. It says. And Morna industrial output concerns. 12% lower than last year. They want additional support. I don't have anything. <laughs> According to the current projection, Mona is set to lose an additional 2% next year. Well, that's not too terrible then anymore. Maybe we are going back to a normal economy. I hope so. And we have Fizord. Young sort oh, expected no. for terror attack. Left. Left wing of the Communist Party. Wait, is that possible? The attacker is suspected to be working with Young Sword. Another organization connected to them. Opened fire with automatic rifle. 50 people were killed. People are getting killed everywhere in our country. Thank you for the report. It's just bad. Yes. It's bad everywhere. And we have a, a report from the highway. Uh, the work has been going well and they have already st started laying down the foundations. Uh, project supervisors from the government confirmed the report saying that most of the preliminary work has been done by underhaul. Everything was going according to schedule, and that is what we was thinking of happened, so that's fine. What do we have in our capital here? We have two reports. Leader of uh, the People's Freedom and Justice Party that maybe has connections with uh, Arcadia. Yes. Then. Recently outlined their demands for the reform package. Declared that without the implementation of term limits and limited degrees, it would be very difficult for him and his party to stand behind the reform package. USP report on reform. Many members of the R party, led by Albin uh, Clevin, the free market stuff guy, um, clarified their demands from the government in the party congress. For the upcoming constitutional reform, stated that without minister reforms, they won't be able to stand behind the new reform package. We are going to make that decision. We are the president. We have a... Is that, what is that? Oh! Okay. Briefing on the current welfare situation. I don't want to read this. <laughs> I don't want to. Is this the, uh, is, is this the minority area? Uh, no. This is... Uh, yeah, I'll, as well. But this is the bluish region. Oh, okay. All right, this, this is also very poor. poor. This is poor. This is poor. Um, and this is all right. This is very rich. This okay. is now getting better because of the highway and stuff. There we go. I arrived at the meeting room for my talk with Kiara or Sierra. I think I guess it's Kiara and Pascal. Before beginning, I took a moment to appreciate the view from the balcony. The waters of Norway were completely covered with snow. While I was mesmerized by the scenery, Pascal Benewal, author and Swedish government official who serves as the Minister of Health, Social Affairs and Labor, he is a member of our party. My Minister of Health was ironically somewhat portly. What is that? Uh, I guess. Well, I guess he's fat. I don't know. Somewhat portly, Unhealthy? having gained a few pounds, yes. Since his breakthrough mm -hmm. as a best-selling writer. Oh. But his authority on social affairs could not be questioned. Such a spectacular view. Yara Walda, Minister of Education, joined us on the balcony, dressed in a sky-blue pantsuit. Her preference for trousers over dresses had made her the subject of most palace gossip. But it didn't seem to bother her in the slightest. Spectacular in indeed, but if you look at the opposite direction, you can see what souls, souls decades of neglect dig to the city. 
Most of the people living in Narble are workers, farmers, and their wives and children. They're breaking their backs for close to no pay, all thanks to greedy corporations. 1. My intention is to help the working class. 2. Whatever. It, I'd much rather be in Holsford right now. Oh no. 3. We can't really blame the companies, that's just how they work. No, we are here also to help the working class a bit. I am glad we see eye to eye on the issue. If you look past the view, you can see the real problems. Real problems like poverty. Pascal nodded gravely. This was a subject he knew quite a bit about himself. His best known books were about the flight, Portland's less fortunate, growing from his own past growing up in squalor. Well Violet. put, Miss, Miss Walda. I don't need to tell you about my own experiences with poverty. I'm sure you have too. Am I right, Mr. President? We all have gone through difficult times. We knew less fortunate families, even though we belong to the middle class ourselves. Well, we have all gone through difficult times. True, but some lives are more difficult than others, like ours was, and still is for hundreds of thousands in Swordland. You don't have to be born poor to sympathize with the plight of the impoverished, much as you don't have to be born a woman to recognize Swordland's need for parity among the sexes. Your stone got serious. Isn't it time Holsword addresses these issues rather than bowing to the wishes of fox and fear mongers and the establishment and diverting yet more resources to the military and law enforcement? Our welfare, healthcare, and education systems have been decaying since the recession. Swordland's poor communities are losing hope. Hopelessness and a lack of opportunities can drive people to extreme solutions. We're seeing increased crime, domestic violence, rising inequality between men and women. Lilia's graph will take care of crime since she is an expert on the subject. Two, those issues must be tackled from different directions. We need to engage it holistically. What? Holistically. Three. I have no idea what that means. If only we can stop the recession, create jobs and growth. Four. The capital must be prioritized towards the resources that matter the most. Ruff will take, take care of it. <laughs> That's the easiest option. Yeah, I can take care of it. She is certainly a proven administrator. From what I'd heard, she reduced crime in Arvory by 40% during her mayoral term. That's good. I don't think brute force will get us anywhere. Look at where the tight grip of Tarquin's soul got us. I agree. There is another subject I want to mention. I've been working on improving the rights of workers in our country and have proposed a draft bill that is currently being reviewed by our party. Mr. Cleven has already backed me and given his support. Swordland has fallen behind most countries on this subject and it is my responsibility to, to ensure this is not the case. Well, I agree. We need to improve the standards for our workers. Two, there's always room for improvement and it's good to hear that you are pushing for it. Three, we shouldn't upset the businesses who are already struggling to stay afloat in the crisis. Four, the bill will be costly and I'm not sure if it would be a priority between all the other subjects. Hmm. Now I think we need to improve it. Yeah. You cannot, you yeah, cannot neglect you it. No, you can't. They're just going to make them mad and they're going to become communist too. There's room and you are pushing for it. I appreciate the kind words, Mr. President. I will always do my best to not let you down. It's also a matter of life and death. Every decade we hear some horrific accident due to employers' disregard for their workers' safety. So would you back the bill when it arrives to your desk, Mr. President? I would be very interested in supporting it once it is finished. To make a decision, I will need to evaluate the contents in detail. I don't think this is the time for such change. I'm doing two. That's good. Understandable. You will receive all the sections in an outline. Hey, Yakuza. Welcome back. It has been a long time to meet you, yes! But that's also because I did a stream for a long time, so welcome back. And don't cry, hello. please. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. It's getting a little cold out here. Let's head inside and continue our discussions. We headed back inside. 
The meeting room was already prepared for state business. Business. Small gifts business. for each of us had been placed on the table by the municipality. Took our seats. Let's start with your health overview. Or let's talk more about Kiara's plan. Let's do with the health overview. We know how bad it is. Just, just lay it on the table. As you wish, Mr. President. Sordlin has a free healthcare system, except for a few private hospitals operating under it. Most of the populace receives adequate treatment. Health issues primarily appear in rural areas due to a lack of quality services. I'm doing my best to ensure that citizens of all ages receive the best health care they can. I also personally want to solve the high infant and maternal morality problem. Uh oh. How many doctors and nurses are employed? Two. How many hospital beds are there per 10,000 citizens? Three. What is the life expectancy and mortality rates? Oh, that is very interesting. Our life expectancy is 65 years and the infant mor mortality rate is a worrying 85 per 1,000 births while our maternal morality is at a 90 is at 90 per thousand. That is way too much. That's a lot. That's too much. Be assured that we are doing everything we can to save mothers and their newborn. Those numbers are saddening indeed. Yes, they are. Let's do everything we can, or I expect nothing but your best efforts to improve the situation. I'm gonna do it too. Yeah, because it's bad. We are working very hard on improving the quality of the services. How many doctors and nurses are employed? We have 31.594 doctors and 73.680 nurses working for the Ministry of Health. This is a high number. What I think is, I don't want to be rude, but out of those numbers, how many are urban and rural, and rural areas? Good point. The data shows that per 10,000 people in urban areas, there are about 11 doctors, while in rural areas, there are only three. Hmm. I was expecting an, a, a bigger gap, actually. Yeah, that's not the worst thing. Treatment time is still too high due to the low number of doctors in rural areas, which get barely any proper coverage. How many hospital beds are there per 10,000 citizens? There are 10 beds per 10,000 citizens, which is a very good number according to our comparisons with our neighbors, with other neighbors. We see a lower number in the countries of Ang Agnolia and Willen, but obviously can't match Lesbia or Voxland. Agnolia and Willen are hardly countries to take as a standard, but it is good to know we aren't in, the huge, in a huge health crisis yet. 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 Thank you, Pascal. I want to hear about the education system. With pleasure. Sorter's education is free, but we have a very outdated system that I want to reform. The other important issue is the lack of access to education in rural areas, especially for young girls. Your administration has the power to solve both problems. My highest priority is to get enough funding to be able to build schools in rural areas while I cleanse our educational system of its nationalist indoctrination and sexist teachings. How many students and teachers do we have? Currently, there are about 5 million students, 3 million in primary education, 1 million in secondary, and 1 million in tertiary. There are 155.316 teachers. Swordland is full of young and bright minds. We keep striving to make education available for all. Yes. I think that's, yeah, that's good. I think there needs to be a change in the way of thought. We should help children to question and educate themselves. What is the literacy rate of Swordland? The literacy rate of Swordland is at 80%. This is a very good indicator for future growth, but it needs to increase. It's also far lower among girls than boys. If I remember correctly, the most literate areas are Bergia and Agland. Of course. Yep. yep. Agland as well. Oh. Agland, yeah. 
That is correct, although Lockhaven skews the, the statistics for the Nargis region, which also has a vast number of illiterate citizens. This underlines my point about the lack of access to education. That's where we are now. Okay. Tell me about the difference between urban and rural education. Urban areas have three times the number of schools per 10,000 people compared to rural areas. Rural areas also suffer from a lack of teachers. I can imagine teachers not preferring desolate areas. Salaries for teachers are very low here. We need to increase their pay to give them more incentive. Thank you, Kiara. I fill in the blanks from here. I believe that's everything. Here's the weapon moved towards the window. She took a deep breath. <sighs> what is it? Look at this impoverished city. The streets are full of potholes, the hospital barely functioning, the school half open. This is not just about Solerg and Alfonso failing. This decay in Sorland's forgotten regions has been going on for many decades due to structural corruption which has fueled my capitalism. Dragon Soul did more for the country than any of us. Two, let's not get an ideological debate. We need to focus on the issues. Three, we are here to change that trend and provide for the people. Four, Pascal, what do you think? Pascal, what do you think? Yes. Sir, there's not much to be said. I agree with Ciara, but it's also Gus Man Manger's job to improve these areas. It's the responsibility of each and every one of us. Here I sat back down and sighed. <sighs> one way or another, we need to transform. Greed and unchecked capitalism will not magically provide for the people. Well, we know what side she's on. Yep. Yep. Well, tell me more about your plans, Kiara. Or what are you working towards, Pascal? Hmm... Yes, Pascal, he's been quite quiet. Yeah. I personally want to improve the low quality of healthcare in the rural areas. So I created draft plans to increase the salary of doctors and to upgrade the equipment of the hospitals. I can do more with an increased budget. Additionally, a prioritization plan to promote private investments in the healthcare system could allocate extra funds. Isn't access to healthcare in rural areas an issue? Or two, quality of healthcare is less fortunate in less fortunate areas matter more. Let's do one. Access is an issue, but not as critical as the as the quality in these areas. The lack of experienced personnel or equipment causes bad treatment, resulting in many deaths. So the quality is more important than the access. Yes. I do hope to create competition and increase the quality of healthcare with the privatization effort. A private healthcare system would increase the price of treatment and makes access worse for the average citizen. Besides, I believe we have decided to promote a more planned economy. Well, Tell I more about bit. your plans. My plans require an increase in the government budget. I aim to solve the problems we highlighted with the allocated money. We don't have money. We have no money. <laughs> By building schools in these less fortunate rural areas and through fundamental changes to the education system, I will unlock the potential of all our children, boys and girls alike. Improving the situation in rural areas is indeed a good idea. Two. Our election mandate was to improve education. We will deliver on this. Three. Interesting. I thought we had a quality of service problem. Isn't Swordish education lacking in quality? Hmm. Mm. All of those, Two. I would say, are good. Yeah. This brings hope to the table, which needs to be followed by action. There's much to be done, and if we are given the budget, there will be opportunities to implement policies that push education to the next level. Won't a promotion of private education help create additional funds? Yes, but at what cost? I'm not a supporter of the private sector in education, because at the end of the day, they are focused on profit first. 
My expectation from our government is that we understand and focus on the needs of the people. We are elected representatives of our people and we will prioritize their needs. Two, there are other significant issues that we need to focus on, like security. Three, I appreciate your briefings and plans. We will reconvene at the budget meeting. Hmm. I think one one sounds like yeah one sounds good that's reassuring to hear I don't want to sound cynical but almost all governments keep making the same promises we must show we are different through our actions I think we covered all necessary subjects thank you for your time I do hope you won't repeat the same mistakes again and again have a good day Mr. President the ministers left and I attended other official businesses in the city. The weather was relatively cold, but it didn't keep a group of USB supporters to come out and cheer at us on the street. Just by looking at the citizens' attire, easy to understand the current state of Narbul. Some people were wearing clothes a few sizes too large. Some kids did not even have shoes. Oh no, it's poor kids. Yet there was hope in their eyes. They were, they were excited to see their president in their city. The burden of a president to pr to promise all the things that he cannot do. Can we uh, take a quick break so sure. I can get some something to drink? If you don't yes. Mind? All I right. will also take a drink. I will uh, write the time down.